Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use Depends module list in the manifest file. And in case you missed previous discussion about what is manifest file, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. In the home screen, you can see Odoo development tutorial, specifically the latest version Odoo 17. And this is the main playlist. And here, upcoming sessions, you can see here the sub playlist also available similar like this Odoo development and here this Odoo development playlist you can see the older versions right you can see here the different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases so let's back to our main topic like how you can leverage the depends modules from the manifest file so here if you remember last time we created these five modules from scaffold command right so let's say the first one is the student here let me go to here in this app store see at school right you can see here once i install this module automatically it will also install the school student and copy school module so how you can do this right so using the depends here in the manifest file of this school module let's say the school module right you can say depends this is the base module but here in this case i want to also add two more this copy cell sorry copy school and student school underscore student module so for that you can just simple copy this name add here and this school student module also if you have a multiple module list right so you can just use depends in the list at least one module you can use or else there is no any dependency module is there you can just use like this as a blank right so here i just added as a copy school and school underscore student module now let's say i'm trying to restart the service restart is mandatory at this moment because i change in the python file here again i'm going to here in this app store and you can see here technical data you can see the base module is only the dependencies module right and if you see here i just added two right and let me refresh the screen still you can see the one module is there so to update this module right if you change anything in the manifest file you have to compulsory go to the update app list update and once done you can refresh the screen and you can see here this two module is not installed right now let's say once i click to this active i mean like i'm installing the school module it's installed successfully without any error i'm going to again in the app store searching the school and now you can see all these three modules automatically installed right and let's say student so once i install the student module so it will automatically install the school underscore student module right so in this case this module is installed right so odoo automatically not install this module so let's see the student module the manifest file in the depends comma and i'm trying to add here let's say school underscore student this is the very important thing while you develop number of custom modules so this is the first thing you should know so that's the reason i'm trying to add this session okay once i click to this update app list and you can see here the school student is available but you can see it's installed stat right and once i active i mean the install right so automatically install that module and it won't be affect to this existing installed module so now this is the first thing second thing is let's say if you uninstall this module sometimes what happened uh, you have to also uninstall specific module right and here in the technical data you can see base modules depend on this module right so once you uninstall so odoo automatically check okay how many modules depends on this module and which is installed stat so in this case you can see school underscore student school and the student module 
these three modules is dependent on this module and these three modules is installed right so once you uninstall this module the school underscore student i mean this one so automatically the school and the student module automatically uninstall so let's say uninstall and you can see here the student module is uninstalled right and the student school underscore student is already uninstalled and let's see the school you can see the school and school student is also uninstalled right and this copy school which already installed but this copy underscore school is not dependent on any other modules which is already installed in this database so due to that this module is not automatically uninstalled but in this case school and another module is the student these two module automatically uninstalled so let's say again once i click to this active i mean the install this module so automatically first it will install the school underscore student and let's say if this module is also dependent on any other modules which is not installed so first it will try to install this module and then after this module install and after that the school module install sorry the student module is installed you can see here the student module installed right you can see this module is also installed but let's say here another case is uh, this is school underscore student right the copy underscore shell so this module is also the dependent module of this school underscore student all right so let me restart the service update app list now i'm trying to refresh the screen you can see here copy cell is not installed so let me uninstall this module so once i'm uninstalled this module you can see this module is dependent this module student is dependent on this module so due to that it's automatically uninstalled this module and here let's say you created a multiple models right so it will also having a list all the documents here the models and it will showing here like how many models automatically remove from the database i mean delete from the database once uninstall again i'm going to app store school and student right let me also uninstall this module copy school student let's say i'm trying to install this module right it's dependent on these two modules base base is already installed and another is the school underscore student once i'm visit the school underscore student you can see base module is installed copy cell is not installed right and if you see here the cells oh, sorry not this one but this one so you can see copy underscore cell is also not installed right and once you open this one this copy cell is also not installed right so let's say i'm going to here and copy cell you can see this base module is installed but this module is not installed now i'm going to here in the student profile now you can see first thing is it will automatically install this module the copy cell after it will install this school underscore student and after at the end it will install this student module okay install oh having an error all right so let's say uh, i just use the wrong one not the cell but the school refresh the screen update app list here right 
and again you can see here the copy school and once you see the copy school there is no other dependent module is available only the base one and base is already installed now you can see once I install this module I installed only one module right but Odoo will automatically install all the dependence modules school student and the copy now you can see here the school module is depends on the school underscore student right so it's installed you can see here I didn't install manually this module right again this module copy underscore school is also not installed so it will automatically install this module right and if you go to upper level one more time you can see here there is no any custom or other modules and here you can see the base module is installed here right and there is no any other so first one install this school module i mean the copy school after that it install this school underscore student module and at the end it install this student module and yes one more thing is let's say if you uninstall this module right copy underscore school that you can see here now student directly is not depends on this module but this student module is depends on this module and this module is depend on this copy school module so here all the dependent modules sub and the parent it will list out here and those one also uninstalled you can see here so here this is the main purpose of this depends keyword in the manifest file i hope you understood this hierarchy uh, while upgrade or let's say while install or while uninstall the modules if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to create a complete module including the menus model tree view form view windows action and the menu all right so see you there